The Quantum Code, Unlock Your Mind's Infinite Power, published and curated by Mindlixir. Chapter 1. Awakening the Infinite Within Do you ever wonder what keeps us bound by limitations when infinite possibilities exist? It's as if, despite knowing deep down that we are capable of so much more, something unseen holds us back from stepping into our full potential. There is a subtle, almost invisible force that shapes our reality, guiding us through life in ways we often fail to notice. We wake up, go through the motions of our day, and follow routines that are so deeply ingrained that they begin to feel like the only way things can be. We know that we're capable of breaking free from the monotony, but each time we try, something pulls us back. It's as if we're standing at the edge of a vast ocean, knowing that beneath the surface lies the potential for adventure, yet remaining rooted to the shore, afraid to dip our toes into the unknown. But what if I told you that this invisible force is not some external chain that binds you, but rather a construct of your own mind? Imagine for a moment that your mind is like a room, a room that you've spent your entire life in. The walls of this room represent the boundaries of your current understanding, your beliefs, your habits, and your fears. You've decorated this room with the familiar comforts of your experiences, your successes, and your failures. And while this room may feel safe and predictable, it's also limiting. Every time you reach for something beyond its walls, you feel the resistance, the invisible pull that keeps you from venturing outside. Yet what if I told you that these walls are not real? They are illusions, self-imposed barriers that only exist because you've accepted them as reality. Beyond these walls lies a limitless field of potential waiting for you to tap into it. But first, you must awaken to the truth that the walls are not there to protect you. They are there to challenge you to break through. Consider the story of a young woman, let's call her Sarah who spent years believing that her path was predetermined. She followed the rules society laid out for her, excelled in her studies, landed a stable job, and settled into a life that, on the surface, appeared successful. Yet beneath the surface, she felt a growing dissatisfaction, a nagging feeling that there was something more she was meant to do, something bigger. Every time she tried to pursue her passion for art, she hesitated, convincing herself that it wasn't practical that it wouldn't lead to a stable income, that it was too late to start over. But the truth was, Sarah wasn't held back by the external world. She was held back by her own beliefs. She had built walls around herself, telling herself the story that her path was fixed, that her current success was the only kind that mattered. It wasn't until Sarah began to question these beliefs, to ask herself why she was so afraid to follow her passion, that she realized the walls she had built were of her own making. And the moment she acknowledged this, the walls began to crumble. She took her first tentative steps toward a new path, one where she allowed herself to explore her artistic potential. And with each step, she found that the world outside her room was far more expansive and beautiful than she had ever imagined. Now I want you to consider the walls that you have built in your own life. They may not be as obvious as Sarah's, but they are there, subtly shaping your choices, your thoughts, and your actions. These walls are often constructed from past experiences, times when you failed, when you were hurt, or when you were told that something was impossible. Over time, these experiences become beliefs, and these beliefs become the limitations that define your reality. But the truth is, these limitations are not real. They are illusions that you have accepted because they feel safe, because they give you a sense of control. But true freedom lies beyond these walls in the vast expanse of your mind's infinite potential. Take a moment to reflect on an area of your life where you feel stuck. Maybe it's in your career, where you feel like you've hit a ceiling and can't move forward. Maybe it's in your relationships, where patterns of conflict or distance keep repeating themselves. Or perhaps it's in your personal growth, where no matter how hard you try, you feel like you're not making progress. Whatever it is, ask yourself, what are the beliefs that are keeping me stuck here? What stories have I been telling myself that reinforce this limitation? 
It's not always easy to see these beliefs, because they often operate in the background, like a program running silently on your computer. But if you start to look closely, you'll begin to notice them. Maybe it's the belief that you're not good enough, or that success is only for other people, or that you've already missed your chance. Whatever the belief is, recognize that it's not an absolute truth. It's just a story you've been telling yourself. And the beauty of stories is that they can be rewritten. There is a powerful shift that happens when you begin to question the stories you've accepted as truth. Suddenly, the walls that once felt solid begin to feel more malleable. You realize that you have the power to change the narrative, to step beyond the limitations you once thought were unbreakable. But this requires more than just intellectual understanding. It requires a deep, embodied awareness that the limitations you've placed on yourself are not real. It's not enough to simply know this in your mind. You must feel it in your bones, in every cell of your being. You must become intimately acquainted with the feeling of stepping beyond your comfort zone, of reaching for something that feels impossible and realizing that it's within your grasp. In this moment, I want you to imagine what it would feel like to break free from one of your self-imposed limitations. Close your eyes and visualize yourself standing in front of a wall, a wall that represents a belief you've held for years, maybe even decades. It could be a belief about your worth your abilities, your potential. Now, imagine yourself placing your hands on this wall, feeling its solidity, its weight. For so long, this wall has felt impenetrable as though it were made of stone. But now, with each breath you take, you begin to notice that the wall is not as solid as you once thought. You press your hand against it, and to your surprise, it begins to give. The stone starts to crumble, and as it does, you realize that this wall was never as real as you believed. It was a construct of your mind, built from old fears and outdated beliefs. And as the wall crumbles, you step through to the other side, into a space of infinite possibility. The air is fresh, the sky is wide, and for the first time, you feel the expansiveness of your true potential. The journey to unlocking your mind's infinite power begins with this realization. The walls that you think are holding you back are not real. They are illusions, built from stories you've been telling yourself, stories that no longer serve you. And once you see them for what they are, you have the power to dismantle them, brick by brick, belief by belief. This is not an easy process, nor is it a quick one. It requires patience, self-compassion, and a willingness to confront the parts of yourself that you've kept hidden for so long. But the rewards are immeasurable. Because once you break through those walls, you open yourself up to a world of limitless potential. A world where you are no longer bound by the past, by fear, or by the stories others have told you. You are free to create, to explore, and to become the fullest expression of who you truly are. Rather than seeing the walls of your mind as obstacles, see them as invitations opportunities to explore the deeper layers of your consciousness and to discover the untapped power that lies within you. Each time you encounter a limitation, ask yourself, what is this wall trying to teach me? What belief or fear is it built upon? And most importantly, how can I begin to dismantle it? By asking these questions, you begin to shift your perspective from one of limitation to one of possibility. You start to see that the walls are not there to confine you. They are there to challenge you, to push you toward your highest potential. Chapter 2. The Invisible Chains of Limitation What if the boundaries of your life are entirely self-imposed? It's a question that, at first, might make you pause. You may instinctively want to point to external factors, your job, your responsibilities, your background, your circumstances, as the reasons why you've been unable to move forward in certain areas of your life. After all, it's easier to see limitations as things outside of your control, the result of events or forces beyond your influence. But what if those boundaries you perceive aren't as solid as you think? What if the very things that seem to confine you are actually reflections of the beliefs you hold about yourself and the world? The truth is, that we are often unaware of the extent to which our subconscious mind governs our lives. 
quietly shaping our experiences, our decisions, and even our perceptions of what is possible. Consider for a moment the immense power of the subconscious mind. It's like the unseen foundation of a building, largely invisible, but absolutely crucial to everything that stands above it. Just as a building's foundation determines its stability, so too does your subconscious determine the stability and trajectory of your life. It holds within it all the programming, all the patterns, all the deeply ingrained beliefs that you've absorbed over the years. And like a computer running software in the background, your subconscious mind operates on autopilot, guiding you through life according to the scripts it's been given. These scripts are formed through a combination of past experiences, societal conditioning, and the beliefs you've accepted as truth over time. But here's the thing. Just because these scripts exist doesn't mean they are unchangeable. In fact, they are often far more malleable than we realize. Take, for example, the story of a man named James. James had always been told that success came only through hard work, struggle, and sacrifice. His parents had worked tirelessly to provide for him, and their message was clear. Nothing worth having comes easily. As a result, James internalized this belief and lived his life accordingly. He worked long hours at a job he didn't love, constantly stressed and exhausted, believing that this was the only way to achieve success. But despite his efforts, he never seemed to make real progress. It was as if something was holding him back, as if every step forward was met with two steps back. He began to wonder why, despite working harder than anyone he knew, he wasn't getting the results he desired. The answer lay not in his work ethic, but in his subconscious beliefs. Deep down, James believed that success was supposed to be difficult, that ease and joy in life were somehow incompatible with achievement. His subconscious mind was operating on the program that had been installed in his childhood. Struggle equals success. It wasn't until James began to question this belief, really question it, that things started to change. He realized that his idea of success had been shaped by his parents' experiences, but that didn't mean it had to be his reality. He began to explore the possibility that success could come through passion, joy, and flow, rather than through constant struggle. As he shifted his beliefs, his actions began to change as well. He started pursuing projects that excited him, rather than those he thought he should be doing. He began to let go of the need to control every aspect of his journey, trusting that things could unfold in a more effortless way. And as he did, opportunities began to appear. Opportunities that had always been there, but that he couldn't see before because his subconscious mind had been filtering them out. By changing the script running in his subconscious, James was able to step into a new reality, one where success and fulfillment could coexist. The invisible chains of limitation that hold us back are often formed by these kinds of subconscious beliefs. We go through life, making decisions and taking actions based on beliefs we aren't even fully aware of. These beliefs act like a filter, determining what we notice, what we pursue, and what we think is possible. It's like wearing a pair of tinted glasses that color everything you see. If you've been wearing the glasses for so long, you don't even realize that they're there. You simply assume that the world looks the way it does, never questioning whether your perception is accurate or whether those glasses can be removed. But when you start to become aware of the beliefs that are shaping your reality, you open the door to new possibilities. You begin to see that the limitations you've accepted as facts are, in many cases, simply beliefs that you've never thought to question. Think about the areas of your life where you feel most limited. Perhaps it's in your finances, where you've always believed that you'll never be able to make more than a certain amount of money. Or maybe it's in your relationships, where you've accepted the idea that true love or deep connection is out of reach for you. Or it could be in your personal growth, where you've told yourself that you're just not the kind of person who can achieve the things you dream of. Whatever the limitation is, ask yourself, where did this belief come from? Is it based on your own experiences or is it something you absorbed from others? And most importantly, is it true? By simply asking these questions, you begin to loosen the grip of the invisible chains that have been holding you back. The process of uncovering and changing these subconscious beliefs is not always easy. 
It requires a willingness to look deeply at yourself, to examine the stories you've been telling yourself about what is possible in your life. But the rewards are profound. Once you start to identify these beliefs, you can begin to rewrite them. You can replace the old limiting scripts with new empowering ones that align with the reality you want to create. This isn't about pretending that challenges don't exist or that everything will be easy from now on. It's about recognizing that the way you perceive those challenges and the way you respond to them can be transformed by changing the beliefs that shape your reality. So imagine what it would feel like to live without the subconscious limitations that have been holding you back. Picture yourself in a life where the boundaries you once accepted as unbreakable no longer exist. A life where you pursue your dreams not with hesitation or fear, but with a deep sense of trust and confidence in your own abilities. This is the life that becomes possible when you begin to question and transform the beliefs that govern your subconscious mind. The subconscious is incredibly powerful, but it is also incredibly malleable. With the right tools and the right mindset, you can shape it to support the life you truly desire. One of the most powerful ways to begin this process is through self-reflection. Take time to sit with yourself and explore the beliefs that have been guiding your decisions. What stories have you been telling yourself about who you are and what you're capable of? Where did these stories come from and do they still serve you? As you reflect on these questions, you may find that some beliefs are easy to identify and release, while others are more deeply ingrained. The key is to approach this process with curiosity and compassion rather than judgment. Remember, these beliefs were formed as a way to protect you, to help you navigate the world based on your past experiences. But just because they served you in the past doesn't mean they have to define your future. You'll begin to notice subtle shifts in your life. Things that once felt difficult or out of reach will start to feel more possible. Opportunities that you couldn't see before will begin to appear. This is the power of working with your subconscious mind. When you change the beliefs that shape your reality, your reality itself begins to change. The boundaries of your life, which once felt so solid, will begin to dissolve, and you'll find yourself stepping into a world that is far more expansive than you ever imagined. The invisible chains of limitation are not real. They are constructs of the mind, built from past experiences and accepted as truth. But once you see them for what they are, you have the power to break free. You have the power to rewrite the scripts that have been running in your subconscious mind, to replace them with beliefs that align with the life you want to create. It's not always an easy journey, but it's one that leads to true freedom the freedom to live without the boundaries you once thought were unbreakable. Chapter three, the fear of success. What if the only obstacle in your way is the fear of what happens when you succeed? It's a strange thought at first, isn't it? We spend so much of our lives thinking that failure is what we fear most. The fear of making mistakes, the fear of falling short, the fear of not being good enough, these are the things that seem to dominate our thoughts. But when you dig a little deeper, you may begin to notice something even more powerful lurking beneath the surface. The fear of what happens if you actually achieve what you've been striving for. This fear is subtle, often hidden in the background of our consciousness, but it plays an enormous role in shaping our actions, or more often, our inactions. It's not failure that holds many people back. It's the uncertainty of what comes after success. Think about it. Success, in whatever form it takes, represents change. It means stepping into a new reality, one that is often unfamiliar and unpredictable. With success comes new challenges, new responsibilities, and new expectations, both from others and from ourselves. When we achieve success, we are forced to confront the question of whether we are truly worthy of it whether we can sustain it, and whether it will change us in ways we aren't ready for. This fear of the unknown can be paralyzing, even if we aren't fully aware of it. We might sabotage ourselves without realizing it, avoiding opportunities, delaying decisions, or shrinking back from our goals because deep down, we are afraid of the weight that success might bring. Consider the story of Tom, a man who had spent years dreaming of starting his own business. 
he had all the skills, all the knowledge, and all the resources he needed to succeed. Yet, every time he got close to taking that final step, quitting his job, launching his business, putting himself out there, he hesitated. He told himself that the timing wasn't right, that he needed just a little more preparation, that he had to save more money before making the leap. On the surface, these seemed like reasonable concerns, but beneath them was something much deeper. Tom wasn't afraid of failure. He was afraid of success. He was afraid of what would happen if his business actually took off, if he became successful beyond his wildest dreams. He feared that success would change him, that he wouldn't be able to handle the pressure, that he would lose himself in the process. This fear kept him stuck in a cycle of preparation without action, of dreaming without doing. The fear of success often manifests in subtle ways. It can show up as procrastination, as perfectionism, or as an overwhelming sense of anxiety about taking the next step. We tell ourselves that we just need a little more time that we'll act once we're fully ready. But the truth is, we will never feel fully ready because the fear of what lies beyond success is not something that can be erased through preparation. It's not a matter of skill or competence, it's a matter of mindset. The fear of success is rooted in uncertainty, in the fact that success brings with it new and unfamiliar territory. And as human beings, we are wired to fear the unknown. We are creatures of habit, and even when our habits don't serve us, they are comfortable because they are familiar. Success, on the other hand, forces us to leave behind the familiar and step into a new, uncertain reality. What happens if you do succeed? What happens if you achieve your goals and find yourself living a life that is completely different from the one you've known? This is where the fear comes in, because with success comes a loss of control. You can control your current situation, even if it's not ideal, because you know how it works. But success is unpredictable. It brings with it new expectations, new challenges, and new demands. It forces you to step up in ways you may not feel ready for. And this can be terrifying. You might wonder if you'll be able to maintain your success, if you'll be able to handle the new pressures that come with it. You might fear that success will change you, that it will distance you from the people you care about, that it will make you a target for criticism or envy. These fears, while often unspoken, can be incredibly powerful, and they can hold you back from taking the very steps that would lead to the success you desire. But here's the thing. The fear of success, like all fears, is an illusion. It's a product of your mind, a story you've told yourself about what will happen if you achieve your goals. And like all stories, it can be rewritten. The first step in overcoming the fear of success is to become aware of it. Most of us are so focused on the fear of failure that we don't even recognize the fear of success when it shows up. But once you start to notice it, once you start to see the ways in which it's influencing your actions, you can begin to dismantle it. You can begin to question the stories you've been telling yourself about success. Stories that say success will bring more problems than it's worth, that it will change you in ways you don't want, that it will make you less happy, less connected, less fulfilled, what if success didn't have to be a source of fear? What if success could be something to embrace? Something that brings with it not only new challenges, but new opportunities for growth, joy, and fulfillment. The truth is, success doesn't change who you are. It reveals who you truly are. It gives you the chance to step into your full potential, to express your talents and abilities in ways that you never have before. And while it may bring new challenges, it also brings new tools, new perspectives, and new strengths that you can use to meet those challenges. The key is to shift your mindset from one of fear to one of curiosity. Instead of fearing what success might bring, ask yourself, what could success teach me? How could it help me grow? What new opportunities for joy, connection, and fulfillment could success open up in my life? Imagine for a moment that you have achieved the success you've been dreaming of. Picture yourself standing at the peak of your personal mountain, having reached the goals you once thought were out of reach. How do you feel in that moment? Are you filled with fear and anxiety, or are you filled with a sense of pride, joy, and accomplishment? Now imagine that instead of viewing success as something to fear, 
You view it as an opportunity, a chance to expand, to grow, to evolve into the person you were always meant to be. This shift in perspective can be incredibly powerful because it takes the fear out of the equation. Instead of fearing what success might bring, you begin to look forward to it, to welcome it as a part of your journey. One of the most powerful ways to overcome the fear of success is to focus on the present moment. The fear of success is rooted in the future, in the uncertainty of what might happen if you achieve your goals. But the future doesn't exist. It's a projection of your mind. The only moment that truly exists is the present. And in this moment, you have everything you need to take the next step toward your goals. When you focus on the present, the fear of success begins to lose its power. You're no longer worried about what might happen in the future. You're focused on what you can do right now to move forward. And as you take each step, you build momentum. You start to see that success isn't something to be feared. It's something to be created moment by moment through your actions and your choices. Remember that success is not a destination. It's a journey. It's not about reaching a point where you have everything figured out and everything is perfect. It's about continuing to grow, to evolve, to push yourself beyond your comfort zone. And yes, success may bring new challenges, but it also brings new opportunities for joy, connection, and fulfillment. When you shift your perspective and see success as an opportunity for growth, rather than something to be feared, you begin to unlock your true potential. You begin to realize that the only thing standing between you and the life you desire is the story you've been telling yourself about what success means. And once you rewrite that story, you open the door to a whole new world of possibilities. Chapter 4 Energy and Manifestation What if the energy of the universe was yours to command? It's a bold question, one that invites you to step beyond the confines of ordinary thinking and into a space where the boundaries of reality are shaped by the energy you project. For most of us, the idea that we can influence, attract, and manifest our reality through energy may seem like a far-off concept, something relegated to abstract spiritual philosophies. Yet, science and spirituality are beginning to converge on a startling truth. The mind is a powerful engine, capable of harnessing the energetic forces that shape the world around us. We are not passive players in the game of life. We are, in fact, the co-creators of our experience. And the key to unlocking this power lies in understanding how our thoughts, emotions, and energy interact to create our reality. Imagine for a moment that your mind is like a magnet, constantly drawing in experiences, people, and opportunities that match the frequency of your thoughts and emotions. If you walk through life feeling weighed down by negativity, fear, or doubt, you'll naturally attract situations that reinforce those feelings. Conversely, if you move through the world with a sense of openness, possibility, and joy, you begin to draw in experiences that reflect that energy. This isn't some magical process. It's the natural result of how energy works. Every thought you think, every emotion you feel, vibrates at a certain frequency, and that frequency sends out ripples into the universe, pulling towards you experiences that match it. The question is, what kind of energy are you projecting? Consider the story of a man named Paul. For years, Paul struggled with feelings of frustration and disappointment in his career. No matter how hard he worked, no matter how many hours he put in, he always seemed to hit a wall. His colleagues were advancing, opportunities were slipping through his fingers, and he felt stuck in a cycle of failure. Paul's dominant thoughts were ones of lack and frustration. Every day, he woke up thinking about all the ways in which his life wasn't working, all the things that were going wrong. And as he focused on these negative thoughts, he sent out a constant stream of energy that reinforced his feelings of inadequacy and failure. It was as if he had built an energetic wall around himself, preventing any positive opportunities from reaching him. One day, Paul stumbled upon the idea that his thoughts and energy might be playing a role in his circumstances. Skeptical at first, he decided to experiment. He began to shift his focus away from what wasn't working and started to pay attention to the things he could be grateful for. 
he began to visualize himself succeeding, not in some distant, abstract way, but in a real, tangible sense. He imagined what it would feel like to wake up excited about his work, to receive recognition for his efforts, and to experience the joy of meaningful success. Slowly but surely, as Paul shifted his energy, things began to change. Opportunities that he hadn't noticed before began to appear. People started responding to him differently, and most importantly, he began to feel different. His energy shifted from one of frustration and lack to one of possibility and confidence, and the world around him began to reflect that change. This is the power of energy and manifestation. It's not about wishful thinking or pretending that everything is perfect when it's not. It's about recognizing that your thoughts and emotions are constantly interacting with the world around you, shaping your reality in ways that you may not even realize. When you harness the power of your mind's energy, you begin to see that you are not at the mercy of external circumstances. You are an active participant in the creation of your life. And the more intentional you become about the energy you project, the more aligned your outer world becomes with your inner desires. The idea that we can command the energy of the universe may sound lofty, but it's grounded in a simple truth. Like attracts like. This principle, often referred to as the law of attraction, suggests that the energy you send out into the world will return to you in the form of experiences that match that energy. If you walk around with a mindset of scarcity, constantly thinking about what you don't have, you'll attract more scarcity into your life. But if you approach the world with a mindset of abundance, focusing on the possibilities and opportunities that exist, you'll begin to attract those very things. But how do you begin to shift your energy, especially when you're stuck in a pattern of negative thinking? The first step is awareness. You need to become conscious of the thoughts and emotions that dominate your mind on a daily basis. Are you constantly worrying about what could go wrong? Are you fixated on past failures or disappointments? These thoughts create an energetic frequency that is likely attracting more of the same. The good news is that once you become aware of these patterns, you can begin to change them. One of the most effective ways to shift your energy is through visualization. Visualization is a powerful tool that allows you to harness the energy of your mind to create the reality you desire. When you visualize, you are not simply daydreaming. You are actively engaging with the energetic field of the universe, sending out signals that align with your desired outcomes. The key to effective visualization is to make it as real and vivid as possible. Don't just think about what you want. Imagine it in great detail. Picture yourself living in the reality you desire, and most importantly, feel the emotions that come with that reality. If you want to attract success, visualize yourself succeeding and feel the pride, joy, and excitement that come with it. If you want to attract love, imagine yourself in a loving, fulfilling relationship and feel the warmth and connection that accompanies it. As you practice visualization, you'll begin to notice a shift in your energy. Your thoughts will become more aligned with your desires and your emotions will follow suit. This shift in energy creates a ripple effect, influencing the way you move through the world and the way the world responds to you. Opportunities that once seemed out of reach will begin to present themselves. People will start to respond to you differently, sensing the change in your energy. And most importantly, you'll begin to feel more empowered more in control of your life. It's important to remember that this process is not about ignoring reality or pretending that challenges don't exist. It's about choosing where to focus your energy. Life will always have its ups and downs, and there will be times when things don't go as planned. But even in those moments, you have the power to choose how you respond. You can either let those challenges pull you into a negative spiral or you can use them as opportunities to strengthen your resolve and refine your focus. The energy you project in response to life's challenges determines whether you attract more difficulty or more growth. Think about it like tuning a radio to a specific frequency. If you're tuned to the frequency of fear, doubt, and scarcity, that's the signal you'll pick up from the universe. But if you're tuned to the frequency of abundance, possibility, and love, 
that's the signal you'll receive. The universe is constantly responding to the energy you project, whether you're aware of it or not. The more conscious and intentional you become about your energy, the more you can direct it toward the life you want to create. You are not a victim of circumstance. You are a co-creator of your reality. Every thought you think, every emotion you feel, every action you take is sending out energy that shapes the world around you. When you align your energy with your desires, you tap into the vast, unlimited potential of the universe. You become a magnet for the experiences, people, and opportunities that resonate with the frequency you're projecting. The energy of the universe is always available to you, waiting to be harnessed. It's not something outside of you, it's within you, flowing through you, and responding to the signals you send out. The question is, are you ready to take command of that energy? Are you ready to become a conscious co-creator of your life, using the power of your mind to shape the reality you desire? When you embrace this truth, you step into a new level of awareness, one where the possibilities are limitless and the only boundaries are the ones you choose to impose. Chapter 5. The Power of Inner Awareness Could the answers to everything you seek already be within you? This question, when asked sincerely, has the power to stop you in your tracks. It calls into question the endless searching, striving, and yearning that many of us spend our lives caught up in. We look outward for answers, believing that the key to our happiness, fulfillment, and success lies somewhere outside of ourselves. We seek validation from others, we chase after external achievements, and we try to accumulate things, money, possessions, titles, hoping that once we have enough, we will finally feel whole. But what if, in doing so, we are overlooking the very thing that could bring us peace and clarity? What if the answers we've been looking for all along are not out there, but already exist within us, waiting to be discovered? This shift in perspective, from seeking answers outside of ourselves to looking inward, represents a profound change in how we approach life. It requires us to step away from the noise and distractions of the external world and begin to cultivate a deeper relationship with ourselves. The truth is, we already possess the wisdom, insight, and intuition we need to navigate life's challenges and achieve our deepest desires. But this wisdom is often buried beneath layers of conditioning, fear, and self-doubt. To access it, we must turn inward, reconnect with our inner selves, and begin to trust that we are our own best guide. Consider the story of Maria, a woman who spent most of her life feeling lost and uncertain. She had a successful career, a loving family, and a stable life, but something inside her always felt unsettled. She constantly sought advice from others, hoping that someone could give her the clarity she craved. She read countless self-help books, attended workshops, and consulted with life coaches, but no matter how much she learned, she never felt like she had found the answers she was looking for. It wasn't until she decided to take a break from the external noise and spend time in quiet reflection that things began to shift. Maria began a daily practice of meditation and journaling, and over time, she started to notice something incredible. The answers she had been searching for were already within her. Her intuition, which had been drowned out by the constant seeking of external validation, began to speak more clearly. She realized that she didn't need anyone else to tell her what to do. She already knew what was right for her. She just had to listen. This journey of turning inward, of seeking answers within, is one that each of us can embark on. It doesn't require special skills or knowledge. It simply requires a willingness to be still, to listen, and to trust that the wisdom we seek is already inside us. The mind, when it is quiet and free from distractions, becomes a powerful tool for insight and clarity. In moments of stillness, we can access a deeper level of consciousness, one that is connected to the vast intelligence of the universe. This is the source of our intuition, the quiet inner voice that guides us when we are willing to listen. And while it may not always speak loudly, it is always there waiting to be heard. The challenge, of course, is that we live in a world that is constantly pulling us away from ourselves. From the moment we wake up, we are bombarded with information, opinions, and expectations from the outside world. 
We are conditioned to believe that the answers to our problems lie in what we can achieve, what we can accumulate, or how we are perceived by others. This external focus can be incredibly draining, leaving us feeling disconnected from our inner selves and uncertain about who we really are. But when we make the conscious choice to turn inward, to quiet the noise of the outside world, we begin to reconnect with the part of ourselves that knows the truth. One of the most powerful tools for turning inward is the practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness is the act of being fully present in the moment without judgment or distraction. When we practice mindfulness, we become more aware of our thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations. We begin to notice the patterns of our thinking, the habitual ways in which we react to situations, and the underlying beliefs that shape our experience. This awareness allows us to step back from the constant stream of thoughts that usually dominate our minds and to observe them from a place of calm detachment. In doing so, we create space for our inner wisdom to emerge. Another way to cultivate inner awareness is through journaling. Journaling allows us to put our thoughts and feelings into words, giving us a clearer understanding of what is happening within us. When we write, we often uncover insights that we weren't consciously aware of. The act of putting pen to paper or fingers to keyboard can help us process our emotions, clarify our desires, and identify the limiting beliefs that are holding us back. Over time, journaling can become a powerful tool for self-discovery, helping us to tap into the deeper layers of our consciousness and access the wisdom that resides within. It's important to remember that the process of turning inward is not about finding all the answers at once. It's a gradual journey, one that unfolds over time as we develop a deeper relationship with ourselves. There will be moments of clarity, where everything seems to fall into place, and there will be moments of confusion where the answers remain elusive. But the key is to stay committed to the practice, to trust that the answers will come when the time is right, and to be patient with yourself along the way. The more you turn inward, the more you will come to realize that you already have everything you need within you. The wisdom, the clarity, the guidance, it's all there, waiting to be discovered you'll find that you are less reliant on the opinions and approval of others. You'll become more confident in your own decisions, trusting that your intuition will guide you in the right direction. And perhaps most importantly, you'll experience a sense of peace and contentment that comes from knowing that you are connected to something greater than yourself. This inner connection is the source of true fulfillment. It's what allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience, knowing that no matter what happens, we have the inner resources to handle it. The practice of turning inward is not about disconnecting from the world around you. It's about finding balance. It's about recognizing that while the external world has its place, it should not be the sole focus of our attention. When we balance our outer achievements with inner awareness, we create a life that is not only successful on the outside, but also fulfilling on the inside. This balance allows us to move through the world with a sense of purpose and meaning, knowing that we are guided by our own inner compass. It's also important to understand that the journey of self-awareness is ongoing. There is always more to discover about ourselves, more layers to peel back, more insights to uncover. Just as the universe is infinite, so too is the depth of our inner being. The more we explore, the more we realize that there is no end to the wisdom that resides within us. Each day presents an opportunity to deepen our connection with ourselves, to listen more closely to the quiet voice of our intuition, and to trust that we are always being guided toward our highest good. So, could the answers to everything you seek already be within you? The answer is yes, they could be, and most likely they are. But finding those answers requires a willingness to turn inward, to cultivate a relationship with your inner self, and to trust that the wisdom you seek is already there. It may take time, and it may not always be easy, but the journey is worth it. Because when you begin to live from a place of inner awareness, you tap into a wellspring of wisdom, peace, and clarity that no external achievement can ever provide you begin to realize that the answers were never outside of you. They were always within, waiting for you to remember them. Chapter 6. Rewriting Your Life's Code 
What if you could rewrite your life from this moment onward? It's a powerful question, one that invites you to let go of everything you think you know about who you are, what you've done, and where you're going. It challenges you to reconsider the story you've been telling yourself about your life, the story shaped by past experiences, by the expectations of others, by your own fears and doubts. So often, we live as though our lives are set in stone, as though the person we've become is the person we must remain. But what if that's not true? What if, at any moment, you have the power to rewrite your narrative, to reprogram your mind, and to step into a new version of yourself that is more aligned with who you truly want to be? The truth is, your mind is like a computer, constantly running on programs, programs that were installed long ago, some of them before you were even aware they were being written. These programs are made up of the beliefs, habits, and thought patterns that dictate your actions and reactions. They are the mental scripts that guide your decisions, shape your relationships, and determine your perception of what's possible. The problem is, many of these programs are outdated. They were created in response to past experiences or external influences, and while they may have served a purpose at one point in your life, they may no longer be relevant to who you are today or who you want to become. Yet, because these programs run automatically in the background of your mind, you may not even realize they are there, silently influencing your life in ways that keep you stuck in old patterns. Think about the beliefs you hold about yourself and your life. Maybe you believe that you're not good enough, that success is something reserved for other people, or that you're too old to start over. These beliefs may feel like truths, but they are actually just programs, programs that can be rewritten. The first step in rewriting your life's code is becoming aware of the programs that are running in your mind. This requires a level of self-reflection and honesty that can be uncomfortable at times, but it's absolutely necessary if you want to create lasting change. You have to be willing to examine the stories you've been telling yourself about who you are and what you're capable of, and then decide whether those stories are still serving you. Consider the story of a woman named Emily. For most of her life, Emily believed that she was not creative. This belief had been reinforced by experiences in her childhood, teachers who dismissed her artwork, peers who were more naturally gifted in certain creative pursuits. Over time, this belief became a part of her identity. She avoided anything that required creativity, telling herself that she simply didn't have that talent. But as Emily grew older, she began to feel a deep yearning to express herself in new ways. She admired people who could paint, write, or create, and something inside her longed to do the same. Yet, every time she thought about trying, the old program would kick in. You're not creative. Why even bother? It wasn't until Emily started questioning this belief that things began to shift. She asked herself, is it really true that I'm not creative? Or is this just a story I've been telling myself for years? The more she reflected, the more she realized that this belief wasn't based on any inherent truth about who she was. It was simply a program that had been installed when she was young. And because it had been running for so long, it had shaped her entire perception of herself. But the moment she recognized that this belief was just a program, she realized she had the power to change it. Emily began experimenting with creative activities, allowing herself to explore without the pressure of being perfect. She started painting, writing, and experimenting with photography, and to her surprise, she discovered that she was far more creative than she had ever imagined. By rewriting the mental program that told her she wasn't creative, Emily opened the door to a whole new dimension of herself, one that had been waiting to be unlocked all along. This process of rewriting your life's code is available to all of us. No matter what beliefs you've been carrying, no matter how deeply ingrained they may seem, they are not set in stone. They are simply mental patterns, and like any pattern, they can be changed. The key is to recognize that you are not your thoughts and you are not your beliefs. You are the consciousness that is aware of those thoughts and beliefs, and as such, you have the power to change them. One of the most effective ways to begin rewriting your mental programs is through affirmations. 
Affirmations are positive statements that you repeat to yourself in order to replace old, limiting beliefs with new, empowering ones. The power of affirmations lies in repetition. Just as the old programs were installed through repetition, hearing the same messages over and over again until they became part of your belief system, you can install new programs by repeating affirmations that align with the life you want to create. The key to using affirmations effectively is to choose statements that resonate with you on a deep level and to repeat them consistently with feeling and intention. For example, if you've been running a program that tells you you're not worthy of success, you might choose an affirmation like, I am worthy of all the success and abundance life has to offer. At first, this statement might feel foreign or even uncomfortable, especially if it contradicts the beliefs you've held for a long time. But the more you repeat it, the more it will begin to take root in your subconscious mind, gradually replacing the old program with a new one. Over time, you'll start to notice subtle shifts in how you think and feel about yourself. You'll become more confident, more open to opportunities, and more willing to take action toward your goals. Another powerful tool for rewriting your mental programs is visualization. Visualization involves imagining yourself living the life you desire in as much detail as possible. When you visualize, you are not just daydreaming, you are actively engaging with the energetic field of possibility, sending out signals to the universe that align with your desired reality. The mind doesn't distinguish between what is real and what is imagined. So when you visualize yourself achieving your goals, your mind begins to accept this new reality as possible. The more vividly you can imagine yourself in this new reality, the more powerful the effect will be. Visualization works hand in hand with affirmations, reinforcing the new mental programs you are installing. Changing deeply ingrained beliefs and patterns takes time, and there will be moments when the old programs try to reassert themselves. This is normal. The key is not to resist these moments, but to observe them without judgment. When you notice an old belief or thought pattern arising, simply acknowledge it and remind yourself that you are in the process of creating a new reality. With practice, the old programs will lose their power and the new ones will become stronger. It's also important to recognize that rewriting your life's code is not just about changing your thoughts, it's about changing your actions. Your thoughts and beliefs shape your actions, but it is through taking action that you solidify the new programs you are installing. Each time you take a step toward your new reality, you reinforce the belief that this reality is possible. Whether it's trying something new, stepping outside your comfort zone, or pursuing a long-held dream, action is what bridges the gap between where you are and where you want to be. Imagine for a moment what it would feel like to live a life that is completely aligned with your deepest desires. Imagine waking up each day knowing that you are living as the fullest expression of yourself, free from the limitations of the past. This is not just a dream. It is a reality that you can create, starting right now. By rewriting your mental programs and taking inspired action, you can transform your life from the inside out. The power to create a new reality is within you, and the only thing standing in your way is the belief that you can't. Once you change that belief, everything becomes possible. Chapter 7. The Journey Continues Now that you've tapped into your potential, what's the next step in your evolution? This is not the end of a journey, but the beginning of a lifelong process of self-discovery, growth, and transformation. The moment you realize that you are not bound by the limitations of your past, you unlock a door to an infinite field of possibilities. But stepping through that door requires more than just awareness. It requires action, intention, and a willingness to continually evolve. The path to realizing your highest potential is not linear, nor is it without challenges. It is a dynamic, ever-unfolding process, one in which each new insight brings with it the opportunity for further expansion. The question, then, is not whether you will encounter obstacles, but how you will respond to them as you continue to step into the vastness of your potential. As you move forward, one of the most important things to remember is that growth is not a destination. It is a process, 
a continual unfolding of your consciousness as you deepen your understanding of yourself and the world around you. Each day, you have the opportunity to expand your awareness, to challenge old beliefs, and to step into new ways of being. This process doesn't happen all at once, nor is it something that can be rushed. It requires patience, persistence, and most of all, self-compassion. There will be moments when you feel as though you've made great strides, only to be followed by moments when you feel as though you've taken a step back. This is natural. Growth is not a straight line, it's a spiral, with each turn taking you deeper into yourself. One of the most powerful ways to continue your evolution is through the practice of reflection. Reflection allows you to pause, to look at where you've been, and to consider where you're going. It's easy to get caught up in the busyness of life, to be constantly focused on the next goal, the next achievement, the next milestone. But without taking the time to reflect on your journey, you risk losing sight of the deeper purpose behind your actions. Reflection helps you stay connected to your true self, to the part of you that knows why you're here and what you're meant to do. It reminds you that your growth is not just about achieving external success, but about becoming more aligned with your inner truth. Consider the story of David, a man who had achieved great success in his career, but still felt an emptiness inside. He had spent years climbing the corporate ladder, accumulating wealth, status, and recognition, but none of it brought him the fulfillment he had hoped for. One day, while on a much-needed vacation, David took the time to reflect on his life. Sitting by the ocean, he asked himself a simple but profound question, why am I doing this? For the first time in years, he allowed himself to sit with the discomfort that arose from that question. What he realized was that he had been chasing external success as a way to prove his worth, but in doing so, he had lost sight of what truly mattered to him, connection, creativity, and making a meaningful contribution to the world. This moment of reflection was a turning point for David. He decided to make some significant changes in his life, letting go of the things that no longer aligned with his values and focusing instead on the things that brought him joy and fulfillment. David's story is a powerful reminder that no matter how much we achieve in the external world, true fulfillment comes from being aligned with our inner purpose. And this alignment requires regular reflection. As you continue on your path of growth, make time for reflection. Ask yourself questions like, what am I working toward and why? Does this align with my values and my deeper sense of purpose? What beliefs or patterns am I holding onto that no longer serve me? Reflection doesn't have to be a formal process. It can be as simple as taking a few moments each day to check in with yourself, to notice how you're feeling, and to ask whether the actions you're taking are moving you closer to the life you truly want to create. Another key to continuing your evolution is cultivating a mindset of curiosity and openness. So often, we approach life with a sense of rigidity, holding tightly to our beliefs, our plans, and our expectations. But growth requires flexibility. It requires a willingness to question your assumptions, to let go of the need for certainty, and to remain open to new possibilities. This mindset of curiosity allows you to approach life as a learner rather than as someone who already has all the answers. It invites you to see challenges not as roadblocks but as opportunities for growth, to embrace the unknown with a sense of adventure, and to trust that even when things don't go as planned, there is always something valuable to be gained. Imagine for a moment that life is like a river, constantly flowing, constantly changing. If you try to resist the flow, if you cling to the rocks on the shore, you will only create struggle and frustration for yourself. But if you learn to let go, to trust the current, and to move with the flow of life, you will find that the river carries you exactly where you need to go. This is the essence of living with curiosity and openness, trusting that the universe is guiding you even when the path ahead is unclear. It's about recognizing that growth doesn't always come in the form you expect, but it always comes when you are open to receiving it. Curiosity and openness also extend to the way you relate to yourself. As you continue to grow and evolve, you will inevitably encounter parts of yourself that feel uncomfortable, parts that you may have tried to avoid or suppress. These parts of yourself, 
the fears, the doubts, the insecurities are not obstacles to your growth. They are invitations to deepen your understanding of who you are. Rather than resisting these parts of yourself, approach them with curiosity. Ask yourself, what is this fear trying to teach me? What is this doubt revealing about my beliefs? By bringing curiosity to these uncomfortable parts of yourself, you transform them from obstacles into opportunities for growth. Self-compassion is also essential as you continue your evolution. The process of growth is not always easy. There will be moments of frustration, moments when you feel like you've fallen short, moments when the old patterns resurface. In these moments, it's crucial to treat yourself with kindness and understanding. Growth is not about perfection, it's about progress. It's about learning from each experience, whether it's a success or a setback, and using that learning to move forward. Self-compassion allows you to stay in the game, even when things get tough. It reminds you that you are a work in progress, and that every step you take, no matter how small, is part of your journey toward becoming the fullest version of yourself. Finally, as you continue your evolution, remember that the journey is not just about you, it's about how you show up in the world and the impact you have on others. As you grow, you have the opportunity to inspire and uplift those around you. Your growth creates a ripple effect, touching the lives of others in ways you may never fully realize. When you live in alignment with your highest potential, you give others permission to do the same. You become a beacon of possibility, showing others that it is possible to live a life of purpose, fulfillment, and joy. This is one of the greatest gifts you can offer the world, to live fully, to grow continuously, and to share the lessons you've learned along the way. As you continue on your path, remember that there is no final destination. There is no point at which you will have arrived or where growth will no longer be necessary. Life is an ever-evolving process, and each day offers a new opportunity to expand, to learn, and to become more of who you are meant to be. The key is to stay open, to stay curious, and to trust that the journey is exactly as it should be. And as you continue to evolve, you will discover that the possibilities for your life are truly limitless.